Manila is the capital city and life in the capital is much different than any other area in the Philippines. The level of English proficiency is one of the best in Manila. This is because many locals use English daily instead of Tagalog or Basaya. Many international corporations have a base located in Manila. And if you tailor this with the outsourcing call centers all across Manila, it's clear to see why English proficiency is incredibly high in the city. On the negative side, however, life in Manila comes with the hustle and bustle. In other words, Manila is an incredibly busy city. 10 years ago, Manila had peak times, but now it seems that peak times are all the time in certain parts of the metropolitan area. Additionally, the costs and the crime rate are some of the highest in Manila compared to any other area in the Philippines. Nonetheless, Manila is a beautiful area and does offer a fantastic lifestyle for certain types of individuals. I have several channels across the internet speaking about business, investment and living in the Philippines. And most often, Davao is the most popular topic. Davao City is where many foreigners stay, still. The city itself is only a small part of the larger Davao Island. The safety inside of the city is impeccable. Outside of the city, however, does not hold the same level of security compared to inside the city. Prices are often much lower in Davao and you will often find many approachable and friendly locals in the area. Davao is slow paced, meaning that there are fewer parties but more nature, natural attractions and beaches. I've come across reports of Davao becoming a slight hotspot for foreigners who are looking to find love in the Philippines. In addition, it seems that several dating businesses are popping up across the city. On the subject of dating, Davao is not a heavy tourist area. And if you decide to date a local, you may find that you are their first foreign boyfriend. Many foreigners see Cebu as a happy medium between Davao and Manila. Before the pandemic, Cebu certainly had a fantastic nightlife scene. The city is very similar to both Davao and Manila and it shares similar characteristics to both areas. But over the last five to seven years, Cebu has grown in popularity with locals as well as expats. Thus, the city has become busy. For example, in some parts, the congestion in Cebu is almost identical to that of Manila. Having said this, Cebu does have its quiet times and it is a very large island with plenty of nearby towns and beaches to explore. Another reason why Cebu is a happy medium between Davao and Manila is due to the price. If you take the price of central Davao, central Manila and central Cebu, you will find that the cost of Cebu is between that of Davao and Manila. Still, just like every area in the Philippines, the cost of living can be altered depending on your location, the accommodation and several other factors. So the question is, what is the best place to live for you? Today I focused on a mixture of positives and negatives. If I were to continue this video for another 10 minutes, it would give me plenty of time to talk about all the notable positives that Cebu, Davao and Manila all possess. But if you are looking for a new place to live or a place to retire in, it's always important to look at the negatives as well as the positives so that you can make a decision based on all the relevant information. If you are someone who enjoys the beach life, then Manila may not be the ideal location. If you are also someone who is looking to save a lot of money, then this rules out Cebu as prices can sometimes be higher than average. So then we are left with the option of Davao. However, if you enjoy the busyness of a city, then Manila would be perfect. On the other hand, if you are looking for a busy city but not too busy, then Cebu would be a great option. What I often say when I get questions about where to live in the Philippines is to look at the basic facts. The facts are Filipinos are incredibly friendly and hospitable all across the Philippines, and this includes Manila, Davao, Cebu and any other area. So when you're trying to decide which area is best for you, what I would recommend is to take a look at other areas such as your budget and start to ask yourself what kind of lifestyle you are looking for. Moving to a new country such as the Philippines allows you to completely reinvent your life. You can become whoever you want to be, whether that's a businessman, a charitable man, or whatever you choose. The future is in your hands.